Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and in this video I'm going to show you several different methods for creating reinforced heel flaps. Of course you can use these stitch patterns for anything but I'm specific to heel flaps in this video. So we'll start out with the stockinette stitch which is your standard fabric knit across the right side rows, purl on the wrong side rows. The next fabric, which is the first one that I'm going to demonstrate in this video, is a slip stitch heel fabric, which you see this very often. Then I'm going to show the eye of partridge and then half linen stitch. So stay tuned. At the end of the video, I'll show you the pros and cons of each and compare them and um, contrast them with each other. So stay tuned. So I'm starting out with the standard slip stitch heel pattern. I'm going to use um, a salvage stitch on each side. In this case, I'm going to use a garter salvage stitch. So I'm going to knit the first and last stitch on the right side rows and knit them on the wrong side rows. But you could also use a slipped stip stitch. <laughs> it's a tongue twister, a slipped stitch selvage for your sock heel flaps. So we're just going to knit the selvage stitch. And then we're going to start our slip stitch design. And I like to have, I don't put my first slip stitch on the very edge next to the selvage. I think it looks better one stitch in. So you're going to knit a stitch, slip a stitch all the way across. and you'll end with a knit one and then the selvage stitch. So this needs to be worked on an odd number of stitches. And then knit one and then knit the selvage stitch. And then on the wrong side row you're going to turn and if you were slipping the selvage you would slip the first stitch but we're going to work the garter stitch selvage in this instance. You can interchange the two and you're just going to knit the wrong side row. I'm sorry, I said knit. <laughs> oh, you're going to purl the wrong side row. So you purl until one stitch remains and then you're going to knit that stitch if you're doing the garter selvage. If not, you would just purl it. That's row one and row two, and it's a two row repeat. It's a two stitch pattern with a two row repeat, so we're going to work the selvage stitch and then we're going to knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one, all the way to the end. And you just keep repeating these two rows for the stitch pattern. So let's take a look at this stitch pattern again. I finish to the end here. And knit that last selvage stitch. So this is what the stitch pattern looks like gives you this slip stitch edge. This is what the wrong side looks like. It's very nice. It gives you a nice thick fabric. So let's move on to the eye of partridge design now. We're going to use our same little example here. Okay, so eye of partridge, you start out just like the slip stitch. So you, the first, the, it's a, a four stitch, it's a two stitch multiple and a four row repeat. So you would knit your selvage stitch, knit the first stitch, slip the second stitch, just like we did for the slip stitch. So we're going to do that. We're going to slip, knit, slip, knit, slip. All the way across. Now I will put the written directions for each one of these stitch patterns down below the video in the description. And there are also timestamps along the bottom of the video, along here, that if you want to move easily from one section to another without having to watch the whole video over, you can. So that was row one. It was exactly the same as the slip stitch pattern. 
and row two is also exactly the same. You're going to either slip the first stitch or knit it. Purl until one stitch remains. If you like my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. That's like paying me a compliment. Leaving a comment, I love to hear from my viewers. You can comment under the video. Tell me if you like this, if you use it. If you learned anything new. Now row three is going to be different. Row three, we're going to work the salvage stitch and then we're going to slip the first stitch, then knit. So now we are alternating. The slipped stitches that were worked previously as a knit are going to be slipped, and the slipped stitches are going to be knit. Did I say that right? I think so. That's row three. Row four. Same as row two. So you're going to knit the first stitch, purl until one stitch remains, And then you're going to knit the last stitch. And then I'll show you a couple of examples of what this stitch looks like. Remember at the end I'll compare them with each other and talks about, talk about the pros and cons. So it's alternating. So in this is in the green yarn. So it gives you this lattice appearance. It's very subtle. It's not as striking as this. This is what the wrong side looks like. And here it is in a blue yarn. Very subtle. Very nice. Now let's talk about the half linen stitch. This stitch pattern right here. So it starts out very similar. There's one difference between that and the eye of partridge. And that is when you slip the stitch, you're going to slip with the yarn in front. So we're going to start out we're going to knit one, or slip that first stitch if you're doing a slip stitch salvage. Knit one, bring the yarn forward, slip one. Knit one, yarn forward, and continue doing that. You're slipping every other stitch, but when you slip it, you bring the yarn forward. until you come to the end and you're going to knit the last two stitches. On the wrong side row it's the same as for the uh, slip stitch and the eye of partridge. You're just going to work the salvage stitch then purl until one stitch remains and work the last salvage stitch. Now on the next row, it's just like the eye of partridge, you're going to alternate the slipped stitches with the knit stitches. So previously we knit this stitch, so this time we're going to slip it, and then the stitch that was previous, the column that was slipped before, we're going to knit that one. So you're going to alternate. This is a really pretty stitch pattern in variegated yarn. And then the wrong side row is the same. 
You would work the first selvage stitch purl until one stitch remains and work the last selvage stitch. So let's look at this fabric. Very nice. Looks good on the wrong side as well, doesn't it? This is where I wove my end in. Now let's talk about the difference between these fabrics. Let's take a look at these. We can see here on each one of these I used a 15 stitch wide and 15 row section. So in the stockinette section it's 2 and 3 fourths inches wide. The slip stitch is 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 2 and a half. Slipping the stitches sometimes will pull your work in a little bit from the sides, depending on how tight you hold the yarn in slipping them. But the biggest difference between these is the length. This is two inches long, this inch and a half, inch and a half, and inch and a half. So that's something to be aware of. If you're using these for your heel flap, yes, this will shorten the heel flap. You'll still pick up the same number of stitches along the edge for the gusset, but the heel flap will be shorter. If you like my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and share my videos with your friends. I also will have an upcoming video, same thing in two colors, which I'm going to be working on next, and I have a video on iopot partridge by itself, including working it in two colors, one color, two color, and in the round. So come back and watch some more. Happy knitting!